Oh yes. Just got back from a bike ride, first bike ride of the year. Really nice, really nice. Beautiful day here, it's actually 15 degrees Celsius right now, which is like, wow. That's suddenly very warm, sun is blazing, and most importantly, the roads are dry. So. It's nice to bring the road bike out. I uh, pumped up the tires, put some new oil on there. So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about my likes and dislikes uh, regarding cycling as a sport. Uh, you know, I'm a runner, and but I do a little bit of bicycling now and then, and I've done a fair bit of it in the past as well. So, you know, there are some particular aspects of cycling that I absolutely love and that I feel like I miss a little bit when I'm running. Uh, but there's also some dislikes and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink my smoothie Sit back and enjoy the sunshine and then we're gonna get to talking about cycling All right, so uh, I left my cycling shirt on just to stay in um, character and uh, So let's talk a little bit about cycling um, I got this bike. It's a Canyon Endurace aluminium uh, I got it last year uh, and it was really cool. It's my first road bike. I've, do I've done a fair bit of bicycling in my life. I mean, I used to bike to and from school all the time when I was a kid. And then uh, over the last five years traveling with my brother, uh, we've been bike touring sometimes as well. We went to La Palma the first time we went there. We were bike touring around the island. We, we brought our bikes to Cairns and Sydney. We biked all around there when we were there for a while. So anyway, I've done a fair bit of biking and I like it. I really like it. Now that I got the road bike, I like it even more because it's just so smooth, you know, to be out on the road. Anyway, I have a few likes and dislikes. You know, I'm a runner. I love to run. And so one of the dislikes that I have with the bicycle, it's not a big one, but the fact that you have to have a bike. Uh, is, is a bit of a dislike, right, compared to running. Running is so simple, you just head out the door, pair of shoes, pair of shorts, depending on the weather, I guess, you do need more gear sometimes, but it's a simple sport. Uh, it, it's, it's very natural, and you're out there moving by, with your own body, um, bearing your own weight, uh, moving in a very natural way, whereas with the bicycle, you're on this machine, you know, it's, it's not a perfect, it's not a natural movement per se, it's, you know, you're sitting on a bike, you're using your legs, uh, in that sense, it's not weight bearing. Uh, so that's somewhat of a dislike, all the, all the equipment and you have to, you know, tune it up all the time and there's so much maintenance and when you're out there you have this thing between you and the road. Whereas with running, it's you and the road. You're one. You're one with the road, so to speak. So uh, that's one of uh, one of my minor dislikes about bicycling. Uh, another one is that it's so fast on the downhills, and the wind is so annoying. It drives me crazy, actually. Like going down a fast hill. It's like, well, first of all, I, I'm not really getting a workout because the heart rate is really low and, and if I want to work hard, I have to go super fast, which I don't like. I'm a little bit scared, I guess, of going really fast. Um, so I like to go a bit slower, but then the, the biggest issue for me is just the wind the in the airs. Just like, whoa, stressful, <laughs> stressful. I like to run where everything is more quiet and you're just cruising through the neighborhoods and seeing what people are doing or maybe out in the forest just like between the trees on the trails with the bicycle it's just much more everything's fast and it's like that's kind of thing that's one of my dislikes um let's jump to some uh, likes i might come back to some more dislikes later but let's get into some of my likes about cycling um well you know i think the biggest like is actually that you get to you, go, you get around, you know what I mean? Like you, you, you go so far with the bicycle. When you're heading out for a run, you can only go so far unless you're like super adapted to high mileage. Uh, you could go on a really long run. 
but even still you could go on an even longer ride you know like 100k on a bike I mean I haven't done that ever in my life but doing a 100k ride I hear is not that big a deal on the bike I just did 25k and it's like a rest day for me it's like a really easy day I'm just cruising 25k no big deal at all whereas 25k of running that's pretty that's pretty tough that's that's pretty long that's pretty far so you get to really with the bike you can just get everywhere you go around you you, you go so far with the bike so you can see a lot you know you you head into town see what's up there then go around here there everywhere you're just all over the place when you're on the bike and that's some, that's a pro uh, another pro that's related to that is that you can train more <laughs> if you're like me and you really love training if you're a cyclist you can really train for hours every day and you, you need to train for hours every day um, it's it's a milder sport you know which is also a pro what you could say it's like it's less impact it's easier to sustain it for most people you know it's it's very accessible um, it's very safe um, even like heavy people who, who might have issues running in terms of their joints and stuff to begin with uh, they can you know they can work on their weight loss or whatever with a bike because you can get in a lot of hours of easy training and as an athlete uh, even as a runner I value the bike and that's actually one of the reasons why I got a road bike I thought it would be a good idea to incorporate a little bit of cycling in my weekly training um, to enable me to just get a few more hours in of training really easy aerobic training to uh, stimulate some of those adaptions without really ha uh, costing much in terms of need for recovery or or like you know easy sessions on the bike with a podcast or whatever I like actually you know I, I actually ride on the sidewalk here in Norway it's okay you can ride on the sidewalk it's for walkers and bikers I just I just don't enjoy being in the road because then I, I get stressed by the cars and I feel like I have to go fast whereas in actually I just like to go slow I just take it easy. I just stay at about 60 to 65 percent of my max heart rate, uh, and I just cruise. You know, so that's what I do. So that's one of the benefits of the bike. You can really train a lot. You can really get out there and spend hours on the road. Another pro of the bike, which is just a general pro for bicycles, is that they're very versatile tools. You know, you can use them for transport in your everyday life. You can use them for touring to go on a long trip you can carry all your stuff on the on the bike um, you can if you have kids you can pull them behind you in the trailer you can pull stuff behind you in the trailer anyway it's if, if you're if you're doing your shopping your transport we did that when we were in Cairns uh, Australia and Sydney we had a trailer behind our bike uh, I'll pull up a little footage of it here so you can see uh, and we um, we just did our shopping with our bikes so it's really a great tool for transport in general life uh, and as I said if you want to go on a long trip like a tour you can do that too whereas running yeah you know you can sure you can use running as transport have a running backpack it's possible but the bike is just a little bit more uh, useful in that regard another dislike I guess which is related to that is that you go somewhere with the bicycle you can't really leave it and unless you lock it but even when you lock it there's a risk someone's gonna steal your bike which really sucks I always feel like when I'm having when I have a bike with me I'm a little bit like locked you know no pun intended to the bike you know I'm I get somewhere I wanna I wanna go into a, a mall or a shop or uh, something like that and I'm like I'm worried to leave my bicycle outside and even if I lock it which of course I do <laughs> if I leave it um, I'm still worried about it. So w when you're on the f on your feet running, it's just you you got everything right there. You just bam, there you are, <laughs> no problem. Um, a pro with running, which is a con with the bicycle, I guess, is that and I guess it's related to the first point really. With running, I'm I'm moving like an animal, uh, the animal that I am, you know, a human. I'm moving through the forest in a natural way and I can zone out and just be, you know, uh, 
flow state. I can just be in that zone, in that sort of in touch with my body and just moving in a natural way. It's just so, something really satisfying about that. Whereas on the bike, sure, you can get in a flow state on the bike too, but it's just not exactly the same. Um, and everything moves by quickly, which I guess brings me to another con with the bike. Everything goes very quickly with the bike. Uh, I like to really enjoy my surroundings sometimes. Like today, for example, I, I biked through some neighborhoods, and I really like to do that. The neighborhoods on a Sunday, you know, seeing what people are doing. People are sweeping their front yard or uh, raking leaves or I don't know, like uh, uh, trimming hedges or whatever, or just chilling outside on their veranda. Whatever people are doing, I just like to just run by their house, you know, on the in the streets, in the neighborhoods, and just look around, see what people are doing, catch some good vibes and that sort of thing. That's what I do when I'm running. Today on the bike, though, I felt like I was just passing by too quickly. So it's like two sides of the coin. Like on, on one hand, with the bike, you get to see a lot. You get to go far. So you can see a lot of different neighborhoods, right? You go from this neighborhood to that neighborhood to that neighborhood to this road, to that road, to this town, to the next town, to the next town. You just go everywhere with the bike. Uh, but on the flip side, you only get to sort of go by very quickly. Whereas on the, on the, on the, when you're running, you're not seeing as much, but you're seeing more of what you are seeing, right? Health-wise, I think there's pros and cons to both uh, sports. Uh, you know, the running is, has a lot of impact. It's a lot of impact. You're, you're carrying your weight. It's a weight-bearing exercise, which means it's pretty tough. Uh, there's a high risk of injury, and you've got to be careful to build it up slowly. But that being said, though, it's very healthy to do weight-bearing exercise for your bones, you, for your bone density, and for your muscles, and for your whole body to actually be engaged in something like running. It's very healthy. When you're on the bike, you're missing out a little bit on that sort of uh, on that impact, which is both healthy but also risky. So on the flip side, you're you're safer on the bicycle. Your average guy in the street, you know, if if he's, if you're just taking an average person and say, okay, you're gonna start a fitness regime, you're gonna start training now, um, they're probably much safer off starting with a bike. You know, they, can, they, can, they, they won't really get injured that fast with a bike. Whereas if they start running, then chances are they're gonna be injured within a few weeks, mostly because they're doing it too much too soon, of course. But uh, so I, I like the fact that running is very healthy for your body overall, and I, I recommend a, everyone do a little bit of running, even if you are a cyclist. Uh, but then again, if you're a, if you're a runner, Probably you should do a little bit of cycling as well. It's great for cross training. Like actually today, it's, for me, it's a bit of a cross training situation because I'm not feeling my best this week. Um, I would like to go on a run today. That was my, that was my plan, but I was just not feeling very strong, a bit tired, feeling almost a little sick actually this particular week. So I thought I'd just head out on an easy ride instead, and that's when the bike is just great. You know, like a cross training tool. We'll get into cross-training in a different video for sure at one point. But let's wrap it up. Bicycles are awesome. I can't say anything else. They are awesome. I, I do love my bicycle. I like going out for a ride every now and then, probably once a week or something like that, in addition to my running training. Um, and at times of the year, maybe if I'm recovering from something or, or if I'm like not feeling optimal, I might just head out on a ride instead of a run. But overall, I'm a fan of running. Running is really my thing, and I, I just feel most excited about running, and I just like being on my feet. I like the simplicity of it. I like the fact that it's uh, going pretty slow, relatively speaking, compared to a bike. Uh, it's pretty slow. You get to sort of take in your environment a little bit more. But certainly, having a bike is cool. Heading out on those long rides, you know, covering a lot of uh, uh, miles, kilometers in a single uh, session without it really being a big deal. That's something really cool about the bicycle. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel about running. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll talk more about bicycling as the summer progresses because I'll do more rides. We'll talk more about uh, cross training. Uh, and of course, we will talk a lot more about running. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Post a comment down if you have any thoughts and requests about special videos that you'd like to see. I'll make a note of them and I'll make them for you uh, 
yeah, one day. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.